friends welcome to my serene stamper youtube channel i'm happy you're here and today i'm sharing a technique it's a bit of an oldie but it's a goodie uh, i know that the gals in my stamp club last night had never seen this technique so maybe there's some of you out there who haven't seen this either and it's pretty cool it's called the triple time technique so to do this you need three pieces of whisper white cardstock and um, you're also going to need some pieces to mat them on so I do have measurements for these on my blog and we also have um, dies that will work and cut this out for you as well but some of you may not have dies so all the measurements will be on my blog post and this is garden green cardstock so what I'm doing is I'm taking a little tiny bit of my snail adhesive because I want to stack these on top of each other and I don't want them to wiggle because I'm going to be stamping right on top of them. And make sure they're straight. Okay, I've got some computer paper underneath this because I'm going to be stamping off. And I am using the Painted Seasons. I've mentioned in my past videos lately that I'm going to be stamping a lot with this because I truly, absolutely love it. So, I am going to make a Christmas card with this. So I'm starting with my pine cone and my crumb cake. This is such a fun technique. Inking this up and just stamping randomly right on top in different directions. Now I'm taking my early espresso and repeat that. This pine cone is a gorgeous image. I'm really, really in love with this stamp set. I think you can tell. It's, it's awesome. It really is. And you can get this free right now during celebration until March 31st. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five of those. I think that's good for the pine cones. Moving on to Mossy Meadow. I'm going to use this image. And I'm going to fill in some of those gaps. Okay, now I'm taking my old olive and I'm going to use this image. And just fill in some more of those spots here and there. Starting to look kind of Christmassy. Okay, next I'm taking this little guy right here and my cherry cobbler. Oops. I want to stamp straight up and down. I wiggled a bit, which is why I got a little line there. What do you think? Christmassy? I think it's really, really great. Okay, I'm gonna keep out my cherry cobbler. I'm gonna come back to that. So now I'm gonna pull these apart. These actually make beautiful frames. It'd be pretty to put a photograph on and put that in a frame. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is Stick this piece onto my card base.
Okay, and then you just line it up with the images behind it. And that is all there is to it. Those of you who have never seen this technique before, I bet you you're at home right now going, oh my gosh, I can't wait to try that. So fun, so fun. Okay, I want to stamp a sentiment for this part. So I have a scrap piece of Whisper White. I am using the Merry Christmas to All. This stamp set was in our um, holiday catalog. It's been carried over. So I'm gonna use season, Season's Greetings from Our Home to Yours. Bring back that cherry cobbler. Okay, I am going to use my scissors to make a banner. I actually have dies that go with this set and um, I could use them to cut this out, but I'm not going to for this. I'm just gonna cut this out. Where am I gonna put it? I think I'm gonna put it here. I'm just going to take my bone folder and go underneath it just to add some curve. All right, I like that. I'm going to put a glue dot behind here and glue dot on this end. little bit of Whisper White Baker's Twine. So this Painted Seasons Celebration stamp set is available free with qualifying orders until March 31st. We're in 2019 in case you're watching this much later. Um, and we also have coordinating dies that just came out today. Uh, super awesome. Haven't got mine yet. They should be here by next week. Super, super excited. Um, so dies that coordinate with all those images, you guys. Oh, how awesome, awesome. I'm never going to be bored with all this fun stuff to play with. Okay, I'm just going to tuck my little bow right there. Kind of pushing it into the glue dot so it stays where I want it to. And I am going to grab my rhinestones. This little bit of um, ink, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, kind of bugging me. So I'm going to put a rhinestone to cover that. Oops. And there we go. In this bottle, I have champagne um, shimmer mist paint mixed with rubbing alcohol. So I'm going to spritz it, and that will really add some glitter, some shimmer. Oh, and the inside of the card, I'm going to put some computer paper, and then I will stamp my sentiment and write my message. And of course, I now have a card ready for next year. Isn't that beautiful? If I may say so myself, I love it. And the girls last night in my stamp club loved it as well. So that is how you do the triple time technique. Um, here is one that we did with the flower using this one here. So this is what it looked like before we embellished it. Beautiful. And the colors on this are um, Flirty Flamingo and Daffodil Delight and Old Olive and Granny Green Apple. Green Granny Apple? Granny Apple. Granny Apple Green? Granny Apple Green. Yep, Granny Apple Green. And I'm gonna show you one more. We had time to make another card last night at Stamp Club, so I decided to um, incorporate the rock and roll technique. So last night the girls actually learned masking, this triple time technique, and the rock and roll technique. <laughs> so it was pretty fun. All right. 
So I have my succulent stamp on there. I'm going to need two greens, so garden green because that's the color of my card base, and um, old olive. And I need... I'm on a flirty flamingo kick right now, so using flirty flamingo. Okay, so I'm inking this up and I'm gonna go into old olive first. And then the rock and roll technique is you just roll your stamp just around the edge on the ink pad. So you just roll it and push down nice and firm and you get those beautiful two shades of color. Gorgeous. Now, because we are going into um, that pink again, you want to make sure your stamp is really clean because if it's not, you're going to have green in your ink pad, um, which you don't want that. So I'm inking it up again and again, rolling the edges. And everyone's a little bit different, which is kind of exciting. And I think I'm gonna move on to the garden green. So still my flirty flamingo. This is my favorite um, triple time card and I have a couple more samples I will show you guys when I'm finished this one. So this is flirty flamingo and garden green. Different colors, looking good. Blends in so nice for this stamp. Oh my goodness, you know, I've been stamping for many, many years, and I can't believe how excited I still get with something as simple as this. Okay, I'm going to stamp one more, and then I'm moving on to a different color. Okay, I am moving on to Tranquil Tide. Still using Flirty Flamingo first. I think this is going to be gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Clean that really well. So I've got my chamois on here. Okay. Clean. Bringing back my garden green. We're done with this stamp. Now we're using this image. I'm going to grab a smaller block. Let me clean this one from the pine cone. in my garden green. I'm gonna fill in a little bit here and there. Now I'm taking my crumb cake. No, actually I think I'm gonna use soft suede. And I'm using this image, be easier to see here. I really like adding the browns to this. I think it looks great. It's looking really nice. And I'm almost done. Okay, now I'm taking my crumb cake using the little filler again. I'm just going to randomly fill in here and there. Now it's time to layer this onto the cardstock. Look how pretty those would be for, for anything. 
you could split those up into three different cards and stamp it sentiment or anything. I just, I think it's, oh man, gorgeous. All right. That goes on this one. Okay, bring in my card base. This measures 11 by four and a quarter. Okay, I am taking the Home to Roost. I'm going to use just a note. I love the sentiments and the fonts in this set. I mean, I love the whole set but I am going to use just a note. I'm going to stamp this with the Tranquil Tide. And then I'm punching it out. And I'm putting it back in so I can flag it trim off this and cut a little bit of my dimensionals and again some baker's twine stone in the center what do you think super super pretty so I'm gonna show you uh, the one I made last night and this one's using the granny apple green so different colors I love the colors on this this I mean they're both beautiful but um, I don't know I really really like this one but looking at this one I really like that one too and um, I'm gonna show you some samples um, using the same technique now um, I wanted to try using my different dies now you can see this is not centered properly it was early 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 this morning like 4 30 in the morning early this morning and um, I didn't realize till after I stuck it down how offset I was and I used my um, liquid glue and this when it's on it it doesn't come off but anyways you can see the gist of it and um, just using my oval layering oval dies and I stamped on the cardstock beforehand and that's with the home to roost set this one is using the by the bay and our rectangle um, stitch dies this one's really easy to cut out the layers because all the dies stack in together so um, that worked really, really well, really easy. And then this one was using the layering circle dies and I used the lovely lattice uh, stamp set. So only partial portion is in the circle. And stamped my sentiment and I ran half of the, um, the top portion of the pool party car stock through the big shot using the quilted top embossing folder. So those are some fun options uh, for the triple time stamping technique. And then of course the cards that we made today. And these are all from the Painted Seasons um, stamp set with the pine cones, the flower and the succulent. So lots and lots of fun. So give this a try, you will love it. Thank you for watching and happy stamping.